really special video because BTS came out with a new song called Dynamite and it just came out three hours ago and it was so so good. The visuals, the vocals, the dance, the aesthetics, the fashion, everything was just on par and it did not disappoint. And what I really liked about it was that it just made me feel good. It had those happy vibes which was much needed in my life right now because there's another pretty big outbreak of COVID-19 here in Korea and so everyone's so stressed out about it, pretty gloomy and the atmosphere is just down. But throughout this 3 minute and 43 second video, you just forget about all that's happening in the world and you just feel like dancing. So I really appreciated that. I know that they said um, before the release that that's what they were going for. They wanted us um, to feel a bit more happier and I think they totally succeeded on that. And what really caught my eye was the fashion. Everything was just so retro and vintage which is what I really like and so I thought it'd be really fun if I tried recreating <laughs> That's my brother there. <laughs> my little brother. Um, if I try to recreate, he's just laughing at me at the back over there. Um, but I said he could stay. But I thought it'd be really fun if I recreate um, some of their looks. Uh, it's not really recreating, but more of um, inspired looks by them because like I mentioned, I'm in Korea right now, but I'm usually in Toronto and I did not expect to stay here this long, but because COVID-19 is not getting any better, I am staying here under the first semester of the fall, but I didn't really bring that much clothes or anything in general because I didn't think I would be here till now. So what I did was just borrowed a bunch of clothes from my dad and scrambled what I could. But I think it'll still come out well, so look forward to that. Before I start that, I thought it'd be really cool if I tried doing my makeup like RM because I really like the gold eyeshadow that he has. It's very natural, but it still shines. So I'm going to start with that. So I am going to be looking at RM's teaser photo and special photo for reference. Oh, by the way, I already did my base just to save you guys time. If you want to know how to create this natural glowing base, uh, I'll put the eye card there over here somewhere and you can go look at my uh, past video. Uh, get ready with me for my job interview. No makeup, makeup look, Korean style. That one. <laughs> go watch it if you want to see how to do this. Yeah, so let's get right to it. I'm going to start with the eyeshadow. So like I said, RM's look is very warm and has a lot of gold around the eyes. So I'm going to be using the Soft Glam Anastasia palette because it has a lot of beautiful warm colors and a lot of warm gold colors as well. It's hard because um, in the teaser photo, the eyeshadow is a bit darker looking than in the special photo. So I'll just try looking at both and do something similar. Actually, before I go in with this palette, I am going to be using this eyeshadow. It's from Misha and it's called Chia Butter. It's a dupe for Laura Mercier's ginger eyeshadow. It's a perfect warm color for a natural base, so I'll be using this. I'm just gonna put it all across my eye. It seems like he has a lot of under eye eyeshadow, which I usually don't do. I guess I'll try that too. So it looks like this. I'm just gonna do the next eye. My brother is making fun of me. My brother just left and he's making fun of me now. Okay, I just put a layer of the chia butter. I'm just gonna put on another color that's a bit darker than the base that I put on and just put it on my outer eye and my inner eye. It looks like in the teaser it's darker in the inner eye, but I think it might just be because of the lighting because usually they don't do that. Oh, I have a mirror right here. I don't know why I was using this. I never peeled this off. Now I have a clean mirror. I didn't peel it off because it will get dirty, but for the video, this is more comfortable. 
So I'm using burnt orange, which is another beautiful warm color. So I put it on the outer eye a bit, and I'm gonna put it on the inner eye because that's what it seems like they did. <laughs> Looks like someone punched me actually. But it'll look really nice after I put on the eyeliner and everything else. You gotta have a good base. So basically you're filling in the triangle here. I used to do this a lot in my second year of university, but then I stopped wearing makeup in third year and then in fourth year when I started make wearing makeup again, um, I went for a really natural look, so I stopped doing full makeup. So it's been a while since I put eyeshadow like under my eyes. Okay, next I am going to add some gold shimmers. For RM, it doesn't look like it's just BAM on one area, but more just a subtle glow. So I'm going to be using this color called Glistening because it's not in your face too much. It's like this. I'm going to use my finger and just put it on my eyelid. And then I'm going to get a blending brush and blend it in. It's so hot here in Korea. Oh, I'm dying. Ooh, I think it looks pretty nice. I'm just using the camera now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my other side. I'm really excited to try on the outfits that I've created. Like I said, I really love the retro vintage vibe. And he has the same shimmer under his eyes. I think he has it more under his eyes, so I'm just gonna put the same thing under my eyes, but I'm gonna use a brush this time because I won't have too much precision here. I am going to be using this brush that comes with the palette and just put it under my eye. Seems like there's more of the glow in the middle area and then it becomes more of like the base color towards the outer area. So I'm gonna start from the middle area and then just blend it out. Ooh. Ooh. I think I put on too much. It's okay, you just take your finger and rub it. I closed it because it gets really loud. I'm just gonna die. Ooh. So now I'm gonna move on to the eyeliner. It's a very, very, very thin line. So I am going to be using this Lily by Red eyeliner and just fill in my waterline. So usually I do more of a cat line or like my eyeliner goes up but here it looks like RM's eyeliner goes a bit down like a puppy eye so I'm gonna try that eye look and now I'm gonna move on to the eyebrows he has very long but like sharp eyebrows but they're thin so I'm gonna try doing that I'm gonna do the end part first and make it sharp and then I'm gonna go in and fill in the insides my eyebrow kind of ends here but I'm making it longer This is your friend. You can fix anything with this. Now I'm gonna do my next eyebrow. For those of you, oh, I went in with the darker shade. Uh. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I got this. Oh good. His eyebrows are a bit dark anyways. It's okay. 
I'm just gonna make this eye darker and then use a brown eye mis eyebrow mascara to make it lighter. And I think that's what he did too. Actually, what he did here is that he just has darker eyebrows and then he used a lighter eyebrow, brown eyebrow um, color to fill it in. So it does have like a mixture of like light and darkness in the photo. So I think if I make the other eye a bit darker and then put on brown eye mascara, eyebrow mascara, I think it'll be kind of similar. Then I'm gonna take this brown eyebrow mascara and try making my eyebrows a bit lighter. You can't really see the difference on camera, but in real life it is a bit lighter. And then um, I am gonna do my lips. I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk color. It's a nude lipstick. RM's lips is very natural, so I'm gonna use this. Okay, so this is a bit more on um, the cool tone than what RM put on. He, his lips are a bit more coral. And then it's very like glossy, so I'm gonna put on this Laneige lip mask and just gloss it up a bit. Okay, next I am going to do some shading. RM has such a sharp jawline, so I'm gonna try making my jaws like that too. Close the window again because the cars are going by and I'm burning. All my makeup is gonna melt off. Okay, next I'm gonna shade my nose because RM has such a sharp nose and I don't. <laughs> oh, and I'll put the links to the products I'm using down below in the description box, so if you're interested, you can check those out. I usually do the shading like right after the base, but I totally forgot about it because I was so excited to do my eyeshadow. I'm using a bigger brush to blend it in so it can look a bit more natural. And voila, this is just the finished look. What? What? Why isn't your hair not blue? I can't dye my hair. Do it! <laughs> I might try taking some pictures with those like filters that change your hair. Then my hair can be blue for the picture. Blue, blue, blue! He has those, um, in the teaser photo, he has ring earrings on. So I'm gonna put that on too. They're silver. Um, I didn't put on any blush because it doesn't seem like there's any flush in his face. It's just glowing, so that's why I skipped the blush. And now we're going to move on to the really fun part where I show you some of the outfits that I've created um, inspired by the BTS Dynamite. Yeah. Okay, so the first look that I'm going to create is inspired by Jungkook, the very first scene where he comes out with the denim on denim. Okay, here it is. I'll show you the full outfit in a minute, but I just wanted to say Jungkook in the music video is wearing two hoop earrings, one smaller one, which is silver, and one black one, which is a bit bigger. But as you can see, I only have my ears pierced. Um, so I am wearing a silver hoop earring, and uh, this is the look. So as you can see, I'm wearing a cropped jean jacket. In the music video, Jungkook is wearing a more oversized jean jacket, but because the jeans are oversized as well and I'm pretty short, um, I thought I would look like a garbage bag. <laughs> so I wore a shorter cropped jean jacket. And in the music video, Jungkook is wearing a white long shirt, but I'm wearing a gray shirt and I am wearing a belt. Just as a point, since I don't have those nice layered earrings and that oversized necklace. And a lot of the other outfits in the music video, they're all wearing like huge belts. So I thought, why not? Okay. Next is the same outfit, except for I changed the t-shirt. It's more of a bright color with bold letterings, um, like J-Hope wore. He wore a black shirt with bold, colorful letterings, so it's a bit similar to this. It gives off a retro vibe, and there are music videos very bright and pastel-y, so I thought this shirt would look nice with this outfit as well. Okay. 
Okay, so the next look isn't inspired by a particular member, but as the group as a whole. They start off wearing a button-down shirt that's pretty oversized. So my next look is inspired by that. I can see that they wear a lot of like layered uh, necklaces. I didn't bring that many accessories from Toronto, so I don't have too many. They layer a lot of gold necklaces, but this is the only gold one I have. But I still wanted to try out that layered look, so I'm just going to layer this silver choker. I know it was like, you can never layer... Um, gold and silver together even a few years back but now I think people just mix and match whatever they want so I'm gonna layer this silver choker and this um, gold cross necklace okay and now I'll show you the look just a disclaimer this is my first time like modeling so I might look really awkward I think this is such a nice cute look um, that you can totally wear out on a regular basis. It gives you like this artsy feel. Okay, the next look is also inspired by the video as a whole. I'm going to keep the layered necklaces. I think it actually looks pretty nice. And I am going to put on this pastel colored um, hat cap backwards like this. Because RM was wearing a yellow pastel cap. Yeah, so this is it for the accessories and now I'll just show you the look. Okay, so in this look, I'm wearing a tropical pattern shirt because I saw um, RM and Suga wearing like uh, shirts with like big tropical patterns. And I'm also wearing like a checkered pants. It's very subtle, so you might not be able to see it from afar, but I'll show you it up close. Um, and I wore this because I saw that Jin and Jungkook had a lot of like patterns going on. I think all the other members had a lot of patterns as well as it's like a retro vibe. So here I'm showing the design of the pants. It's actually a very nice and subtle pattern. Okay, for the next outfit, I just switched up my top into a checkered shirt. It kind of matches with my pants, but I'm gonna take off my hats this time and I'm gonna change my earrings. Um, in the music video, you can see that Jimin is wearing like a really big silver cross earring and I don't have that but I do have really nice like sword earrings that look pretty similar. Like they're not the same shape but they have the same vibe. So here they are. And then I'm gonna put on some tinted sunglasses because J-Hope RM, V, Jimin, like almost all of the members wear them, so. <laughs> Ow, I just hit my eye. I don't think any of them wore a pink one, but mine's pink. Ooh, and I think I'll look super cute with this outfit. Okay, I'll show you the look. I think this might be one of my favorite outfits. It's like simple, the outfit's simple, but then you have like all these pointers that are like bang. I think I like this look better with my hair tied, just so that my earrings show a bit more. Okay, the next look is inspired by J-Hope. Um, he wears like a colored retro t-shirt, so I'm just gonna wear one of my dad's colored t-shirt. And I think it looks nice with my checkered pants. Okay, I switched into my dad's color shirt. It has some checkered details here too, which is a great combination with my checkered pants. And I just kept on the sunglasses and earrings because I thought it looked nice together. Hi guys, this is me after filming all the outfits and I forgot that I actually wanted to pair this outfit with these clips. And they would have looked really cute if I put these on with the outfit I just showed you. You can pair them on on each side like this. Or you can put two on the same side. I prefer this look. These are really trendy like a year ago. I don't think they're in trend anymore, but they're still really cute. And I think it would have looked really nice with the outfit. Okay, the last outfit I'm going to show you doesn't really look like anyone from the music video, but it was still inspired by the music video because I still think it gives off a retro vibe. I don't know, I just wanted to wear a dress. For this look, I am going to tie my hair with this scrunchie. These are really in right now. Um, mine's in a purple floral pattern. I'm going to tie my hair up real high. I'm not gonna mind it if it's 
a bit messy. And I'm just gonna pull out some of my hair. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have like rings prepared because they layer on a bunch of rings, but I forgot to put it on until now. But I don't think you would have seen it anyway, so anyways. I'm going to switch out my earrings for these blue, really cute little earrings. I got this inspo from the scene where V is wearing a necklace and there's like a red heart point. And I just thought that that was really cute. And I don't know why, but this kind of reminds me of that. Like the shade of blue, I think it's a bit similar. I don't know. It's cute, so I'm just going to put it on. Korea summer is so hot. Mm, it's so cute. It would have looked nice with this outfit too, actually. Because blue on blue. Okay, now I'm going to change into the dress. I thought about it, and if I really wanted to, I could say that this outfit is inspired by V's like more formal wear, because this is a bit of a more formal outfit. Every day I've got some things to do. Okay, so for all the outfits, I didn't show you what shoes I would wear with them, because I'm indoors and I didn't really want to wear shoes, but I would definitely wear a pair of Converse or maybe like Dr. Martin boots. Yeah, I think that would look really cute with any of the outfits. Also in the music video, they wear a lot of like funky and colorful socks, so it would look definitely very cute with those pairings as well. Okay, thank you so much for watching till the end of my video. I hope you liked all of my creations and saw some similarities with the actual uh, BTS members in the music video Dynamite. If you guys like me and what I do, I highly, 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 highly encourage you to check out my other videos as well and subscribe. Um, yeah, join the family. I'm gonna go watch more of that music video.